All right, you want to make a cut? Cut um, anywhere you want. Yeah, I need to open. loosen it up yeah. a little bit, not too much. So the trick is to just be nice and consistent with your pressure, and you don't want to rip the stainless. So tighten it up and spin, tighten, spin. One, one three sixty, tighten one three sixty. Not too tight. Okay. So it's let's see how it looks. Cup. All right. So this, that's pretty good. All right. I don't see any major tears. Uh, there's a little thing here, but I'll be able to flatten that out. You know what I'm what I'm looking for is I don't want to see a rip down into the next corrugation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you mm -hmm. need to cut the That'll be a leak. All right. But there's the ultimate goal is to produce a flat seat like this. All right, that's, that's all we got to yeah. do. So I'm going to be able to flatten it out. I'm not going to be able to flatten it that good. Mm -hmm. uh, but it'll flatten pretty good. So, all right. So what we need to do is we're going to put this down. Okay. And then we need you know, this. You file it or something first? No? You can. I, bit, and I, I farted around with filing them. A little cleaning up enough. Doesn't, you know, it really, uh, it doesn't do much. Uh, I mean, I don't see anything that needs to be filed. If I had a, you know, this little, this little, Piece there. I'm just gonna I'm shove that. I'm thinking when I do my flares, you know, but this is different. So yeah. Well, yeah. There's no rips. It's just it's all gonna fold inward anyway, yep. right? So I'm gonna right, put so this. Cut, man. Yeah. Oh, he's got. You're good. We'll put this on the last corrugation. And then it's closed. It's just a ring that. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now it can't. It can't come off. So then we're gonna use this brass piece. To smush that down. down. You can also, they have How a little... How much you um, put? Uh, just one under? One, yeah. Only one. Yep. The next The, the next, next one. one, yep. Okay. In the in the first groove. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to... We're going to try to... flat plate? Well, you can use a little aluminum uh, plug, and that'll, ah, yeah, that'll yeah, help. Yeah, yeah, okay. uh, But this is nice. This brass will do the same trick, and I actually didn't... didn't uh, couldn't find a, a, a plug to hard come by. So th this will do the trick. Uh, it's just going okay. to scratch this a little bit. All right? So we're going to flatten this out. Okay, so we got to get another um, little piece of advice is when you're working with with soft brass like this, mm. don't use um, pipe wrench. Uh, don't use uh, channel locks or pipe wrenches. Always use something that's meant for soft copper, and that's a uh, you know a wrench. You know, like a like an open end box wrench or something. Oh, that's right. Never remember what channel locks are. All right. All right. So I'm just going to make these just real tight here, if I actually go like this. Doing that up on the roof, huh? <laughs> it's not too bad. It's easier doing it up on the roof than sitting in a chair holding the thing between your legs. Don't drop the wrench and go oh, after yeah. it. I suppose I've done you. that. And the neighbor was under and I said, excuse me. Tie a little lanyard. I like to make it nice and tight. I know, I'll drop it every time. So I'd probably tie it off, I guess. Okay, now I've got to come back out because yeah. I'm missing my washer. All right? Washer is the rubber? That the graphite, answers? the blue graphite. graphite washer has to go in there. All right. And what does this prevent from leaking, yeah, the washer? Oh, yeah, it does. What was the name of that like C type piece of metal you put on the uh, the this the the steel? Right, C right clip. at the C clip. Okay, awesome. Okay. What was that? Well, it was a piece of this ring. Ah, it doesn't matter. This ring can no, can, can break. Uh, yeah, it, the ring is only important to hold it in place. Okay, initially. for the for the moment of the yeah. Moment so of the we actually made a nice. Flat seal, almost like the factory. Let me see. I even like this better. Did you take the other piece of the ring out? Since half of it I broke? think so, I think it fell, yep. Yeah, yeah, it fell down. Just see if the other half it's stuck in there, and then it might leak. Well, it won't because we're going to use a, a graphite washer, which I have, there you have go. one. Yeah, but when you torque it down, it's going to only push on half of the uh, seal. And this sand pipe you use to go to the panel? Yeah. Everything you use, that. Yeah. So 
Basically, you come with the roll. You come with the roll. You come with the roll. A bunch of those quick connect fittings. These are called quick connects. Quick connect. Yeah. Quick connect. Yeah, yeah. like from good. quick, yeah, from the word quick. Yep. I like that. And so now this and then is ready to go right into uh, into the pump station or the collector. Okay. okay. This is three quarter, yeah. This is five eighths. That's the same fitting as the as the collector. Okay. All right. We we'll use a graphite washer. And I can the well, the quick connect also comes with adapters that you can you can screw in now. Once okay, I, that's one set, yeah. Once I yep. That's one set. And what is the size now from this one? This here? is five eighths compression. Five eight. So it's not three quarter, you know. No. No. Five eight is. And that's that. Mm -hmm. Now the the quick connects. Uh, this one has uh, two compression fittings. The most of them are uh, compression to NPT. And over there, there's a bunch of them that are NPT. I just happened to grab one that was two compression. But what you'll get is one side compression, one side NPT. All right now, normally, I'm going to go from here right into my pump station. All right, I don't need any of those other mm -hmm. adapters, and I can also go from Female. here right to the collector. right to the collector. All right. All right. The only reason I want this is if I'm going to adapt it into some other fitting, I can I can. Thread can, that in into the female sure side of whatever the yep that. yep. Then you have then you use extend extenders. Okay. Now if you make a mistake, come, come down, cut a little bit. That C clip there uh, that fell out that is essential for being able to make this fitting. If you can't if you don't have a C clip, it's you cannot touch. Yeah. It and, and honestly, I was I was doing a training in Dominican Republic once, and they ordered everything they needed, and we started assembling, and the bag didn't have a C clip. We're missing one C clip. And we couldn't get the we couldn't get this to seat right because we didn't have a C clip, so they they tried to manufacture one. But uh, don't lose those C clips, <laughs> nor or you, these. I always have a little bag of my own that I keep these in my toolbox because mm -hmm. they're hard to come by. You can't go to the store and get them, and they're wicked yeah. good. They don't ever leak. And this pipe will will, will be for a long time, like it's a yeah, long, long time. Life, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what's nice, you can bend it. And yeah, try to tighten it not. Try to crimp it. Try, try to crimp it like it, you know, like, like uh, I want to break. Oh, yeah, yeah bend it like a, like a garden hose. Make it fold. Yeah. Gotcha. So you can make your own uh, heat exchange. Yep. <laughs> yeah, out of stainless steel, <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah, they do from heat exchange from stainless steel. Oh, yeah. You know? Well, I'd prefer it be of aluminum. But huh? Aluminum's got a higher rate of thermal conductivity than uh, than the steel, yeah. but steel will work in a pinch. But they say, you know, for Aluminum example, broke. if the tank is stainless steel, they say that it's Ooh, that's it. what they say. They say it's better to mercury fit stainless same steel, metals, same metals, you know, because if it's other metals, yeah. you know, it could create like uh, it's nice design. Yeah? So you you making your name with that? What is that's that? Yeah. Now uh, there are there are some that are the, the three uh, three quarter inch uh, quick connect. Then we're going to need to screw this in. Then I'll go from three quarter to five eighths and to my pump station. Mm -hmm. But it just oh, happens. The, the pump station at five eighths. Well, it, every pump station is a little different. No, but the the the, the one from uh, yep. from this will this right? will screw right into the pump station. Right in the pump yep. station. So there you go. So what is the size of this oh. pipe? Five eighths. Five eighths. Five eighths. Yep. Okay. So everything. Yep. You can get different sizes. Mm -hmm. awesome. Okay. And what do you use the bigger size there from the pipe? Uh, well, the, the diameter of the pipe that you use depends on the volume that you need. Okay. okay close up shot of that. So that's, it's there was one big one there. That, that was like, it's for big systems. Yeah. Huh? Okay. okay. Nice. Maybe, um, while I'm thinking of it, 